How does the Jetta body come together with the chassis, and how do the two separate during production? Today, let us take a closer look at how this process actually works. First, on the chassis that already has the engine installed, the rear axle is mounted. After that, the exhaust muffler is lifted into position. Then the rear subframe mounts are tightened and the fuel tank is lifted and secured onto the vehicle. Once all rear components are installed, the car moves into the inspection room. Here, workers check whether the seat mounts and subframe mounts are properly installed. This is the final inspection before the body and chassis are joined. One part comes down from above, almost floating through the air. The other waits below, already on the ground. Different paths, same destination. They meet at the preparation area before joining. There is a saying about the perfect moment making everything worthwhile. It feels like a couple walking into a wedding hall, which is why this station is jokingly called the wedding station. After the wedding, large bolts are tightened to lock everything firmly together. This is the rear axle fastening, with four large bolts on each side. Next comes the tightening of the rear subframe mounts, with more bolts secured underneath. This area handles the linkage fastening, then comes the most impressive part. Two professional KUKA robots step in to tighten the front suspension. Every bolt is torqued precisely, fast and consistent, with no room for error. Once all tightening work is finished, the body enters the separation zone. At this station, the rear of the body is lifted upward. After the body is fixed in place, the chassis carrier begins to move away from the body. The separation is quick and clean with no hesitation at all. From this moment on, this position marks the point where the body and chassis will stay together for the rest of the vehicle life. Follow me and I will take you deeper into real automotive production processes.